All right, what I got here is a bowl of water with a little half teaspoon of baking soda. And I was trying to make a rotting coil. And it uh, didn't work out right, but I realized what I made wrong. But uh, anyways, I'm going to use this uh, dream catcher rotting coil that I had made. And I'm going to see how it performs as a HHO generator. So I got 11, no 10 windings. Uh, for the A side, I did not do a B side, so it's only uh, the A side. I'm gonna put this in the water, and uh, what do you know? It floats. So I need to submerge it somehow. I'll probably just have to hold it down. Anyways, this is not a good idea for a rod and coil, this pressed wood circle that you can get at Michael's uh, craft shop. But uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this into the center and I have it, uh, I have it connected to my 12-volt uh, power supply, but I don't have that turned on yet. I have it right here. So, uh, I gotta find something to hold that down. I'll be right back. All right, what I did is uh, I got these two big candles, or wax candles, so just to hold that down. Um, but it's not going to affect the outcome. So I'm going to turn on my 12 volt power supply. Move this camera over here. Got a new camera stand, so I'm trying to figure out how to set this up. All right, I'm going to stick this in the center. And slowly but surely, starting to work. I don't know what kind of wire that was, some kind of steel wire, but it's not performing like I thought it would. I can see the bubbles coming off. Oh, the positive wire is starting to turn black. You can see that. I was just curious how this dream catcher rod and coil design would uh, react. I have it hooked up to the 12 volt wire on my 12 volt power supply. Mm. Let's see if I touch it, see what happens. Ooh, yeah, that was cool. Lift that up like crazy. So, what I'm going to go do now is. Uh, I'm going to get a bolt instead of this thin wire. So I'll be back. Alright. Uh, now what I did is I added another teaspoon of baking soda. And I went and got a bolt because that wire I was using was too thin. And uh, I'm going to put this in the water so this reacts. Starting to get a better effect that way. Uh, like I said, uh, I'm not trying to make an HHO generator, uh, so don't email me and tell me I did it wrong. I'm doing. I'm making an experiment because I tried to make a rodent coil, and uh, it didn't work out right. Uh, compressed wood is not good, so I'm going to give me one of them plastic donuts. But I had this thing made up anyway, so I was just curious. Uh, what would happen if I put it in and uh, try to set it up as an HHO generator? Uh, the other wire I had in there was too thin. Uh, as you can see, it's making uh, hydrogen right now, but it's not very good design. This is a test experiment. I was just curious that layout 
or the wires twisted like that if they would do anything. And uh, I got this stupid camera stand. It's complicated to hold the camera and set it up and do this stuff. Anyways, stainless steel bolt, some kind of uh, 30 gauge wire. It's steel, but it ain't stainless steel. I got these two candles just holding this down because this is a uh, pressed wood and uh, this makes hydrogen it's just it's not one of my better hydrogen generators I'm using my 12 volt power supply and I have it hooked to the 12 volt wire but uh, like I said this is only a test only an experiment this white stuff you're seeing here that's coming off this bolt is I had some glue on this bolt so that's that's what that murky milky white stuff is coming off there but the bolt it is not getting warm it's staying cold I'm making generator but that's another failure but that's how you experiment Trying to spin in the vortex here, see what happens. Nothing. Alright, well, there you have it. If you want to make an HHO generator, don't make one like this because this one uh, doesn't produce very well. Although it does make a little bit, it's not very good. So, there you have it. My dream catcher slash rodent coil mm. ah, slash failure now yeah, off to the next experiment although maybe I'll just put this above my bed and catch my dreams there you have it YouTube